Web Hosting Control Panel cPanel Video Tutorials Creating Email Accounts So in this video I'm going to show you how to create an email account using your cPanel environment. You need to click on Email Accounts, this icon here with the letter, and this will take you to a new screen. It will allow you to create an email address that you desire. Down here, if there are any accounts that have already been created, you'll see them listed here. Everybody has a default email account with cPanel and it's usually your username. That particular email account there doesn't need to be used um, unless you wish to use it, but most people don't. Basically, that is the account called, uh, in this case, uh, website R which is website r at website renos.com. That doesn't mean anything to anybody. Most people usually create email addresses with their name or business related information. So that in my case, I can create an email address called Aaron at website renos.com. I can choose a password or I can have one chosen for me if I choose password generator. This password generator, I highly recommend. You can click keep clicking generate password until you find one that you like or that's not too complicated. In the case of this one, I like this one here. It says here, I have cop tick here if I have copied this password into a safe place. So I'm going to tick that. I'm going to have copied that and I'm going to use that password in there. I can then copy that password into my mail client, Thunderbird, Outlook, Windows Mail, Mail on the Mac, anything. Um, so even choosing a password that um, isn't as tough as that one. Um, but I would always recommend upper and lower case with uh, alphanumeric, so that's, that's numericals, as well as um, the alphabet, to try and mix it up a little bit so that it makes your password strong rather than a weak general password, uh, which might be fruit, for example. So that just protects you. Um, then you can choose what sort of mailbox quota you want, either unlimited, 5 megabytes, 10 megabytes, depends how much um, actual space you've got on your account and it also depends on what you might be using your uh, mail for. So if you wanted to use webmail exclusively and not download mail onto your computer, then you might want to have it unlimited or you might want to have a large sized mailbox but if you want to download everything and just have a small mailbox that's okay too so i'll choose 20 megabytes i'll click create an account it then has created that account successfully down here i now get a, um, a usage and a quota area here i can uh, change my password if I want. I can upgrade my quota if I want. I can delete this account if I want. And if I use this drop down here, I can access webmail from here. So every single cPanel, uh, depending on your hosting uh, environment, but in the Netrospect hosting environment, every single account has the ability to use Squirrel Mail or Horde, which is two different mail, uh, webmail clients. So I can access my webmail from here or I can then choose to configure my email client. So if I click configure email client, let's just have a quick look at this. So here is a set of instructions for how to set up your uh, particular mail client. If you wanted to use Outlook, Outlook Express, uh, maybe Mail, um, or any other type of um, mail client, because here are the actual settings that you can use. So the mail server, uh, the username is usually the uh, email address. So in this case, I created Aaron at website renos.com. That's my username. Uh, the incoming mail server is here listed. The outgoing mail server is here. It needs to be on port 26. Um, and these are the protocols that you can use. So if you have to manually set up, you can do so, or you can click here and download a little app, a little um, script that will allow you to have that loaded into Outlook or Outlook Express. I like to do everything manually. I have more control over that. I will also state that when you do set up your mail client, the best thing to do is to set it up so that you're using the ISP as the outgoing mail server. So rather than using the SMTP of the server itself, 
you you here mail website renos.com you wouldn't do that you would use if you were with optus you'd use mail.optusnet or if you were with iinet or telstra you would use their smtp outgoing settings rather than these ones and that's purely because they have uh, certain blocks on port 25 to reduce the amount of spam that might be on their system or any sort of fraudulent activity. So they actually block port 25, which is why we have port 26 uh, open to use for using the SMTP if you wanted to use your own domain name. Now, if that's all too confusing for you, that's fine. Simply drop us an email or contact us and we'll help you get your email sorted out. Once it's set up, it's very, very simple to do. It's just getting it to that setup point that's sometimes a little bit confusing, especially if you've never done it before. But essentially, that's how you create an actual email account. It's very, very simple. Create and manage. So be sure to check out all our other cPanel tutorials to learn how to use the great features of your web hosting account and build your online business.